Hello, Facebook. Hello, everybody. Jamie here. It is cocktail time with Jamie on Tuesday. Uh, let's see. Hope everybody had a great start to the week. Um, it is Tuesday, September 14th, right? 11, 12, 13, 14th, September 14th. And uh, Aroma Time is closed tonight, but I thought I would bring you a uh, cocktail time with Jamie and um, just bring you something to, uh, to share, to brighten up your day, and uh, give you some ideas for some cocktails. So uh, thanks, I see some people joining. Hello, Dana. If you are watching me live, if you can put hashtag live in the comments. If you're watching on the replay, hashtag replay. You know, I'm finding that my, my live notification isn't going out until a little bit later. I'm not sure why, um, but interestingly enough, it, uh, it's taking a little bit of time to go out. So hello, Laura, hello, Dana, hello, Ralph. Thank you everybody for watching me. I appreciate it. Um, I, Marcus and I are so appreciative of all the support that we've gotten over um, the last year and a half, 18 months or so. I appreciate you watching us. We appreciate you coming to the restaurant. We appreciate you eating our great food, watching me live, watching Marcus live. Uh, you know, we're always about giving you information and sharing information with you and making you grow as a person. Um, that is just what we do. That's what we do with our staff. That's what we just do. You know, it's important to us and become better people and eat good food and drink good food. And um, let's see, hold on one second. Let me just grab the phone. Let me help you. We are not, we are closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. No problem. Um, let's see, I keep missing you live. It's been a while. Yes, hello Heidi, nice to see you on. Hello Ronnie. Um, I see more and more people joining me. So we are closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. For those of, that, those of you that don't know that, we'll be back open on Thursday night. We will have jazz, jazz live in our garden tomorrow night, uh, Thursday night. Um, just so, you know, Marcus and I keep reiterating this and we keep talking about this and I think sometimes people just don't really understand how we're operating these days. But um, we are only doing outside dining when it is nice outside and the bar is always available. But inside dining is only available when it is raining and as it gets colder. Um, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks here, uh, our fire pit will start to be lit and um, you can enjoy the nice warmth of the fire pit as it gets cooler. But so far we really haven't had to light it because it's been uh, pretty warm. There's been a couple of cooler nights so we'll turn on our our heaters in our back garden area but we have a beautiful back garden if you haven't been here please check it out it is awesome um, it, it is a beautiful garden and we'd love for you to enjoy it and um, take advantage of being outside in the beautiful Catskill Mountains in beautiful Ellenville overlooking the mountains and we'd love for you to uh, join us for dinner and uh, of course drinks if you'd like the bar is always available for that as well hello Albie long time no see I know Albie I've, I've missed you Heidi we've missed you as well hello Ronnie thank you everybody for watching me for joining me I really really appreciate it so we um, got a uh, we had a, uh, a sales rep come in today and talk to us about Bar Hill Gin uh, which is from Vermont and they're doing a bees knees um, week um, I believe it is October no I'm sorry September 24th through the beginning of October that um, for every for every bottle we buy they're gonna plant trees so we're gonna do something special so stay tuned for those details coming out um, bees knees will be on our menu maybe we'll have another bar hill cocktail they make an awesome gin i believe it's made with juniper and raw honey um and um their gin is really really nice i really enjoy drinking it so today i'm going to make something called kettlebell um it is bar hill gin amaro lemon juice honey and grapefruit i've never had it before i've checked out their um i've checked out their website uh they have some awesome cocktails on there so i'm excited to be bringing you these cocktails the next couple of days uh, to try to help promote um, this, this event that they're doing. So if you haven't been on, uh, go to Bar Hill, uh, Bar Hill uh, from Vermont, Vermont, Hartwick, Vermont. Uh, go to their website, check out what they're doing there. For every, um, for every bottle I think that they sell, they're going to plant trees so or or plant land or something like that i it happened so quickly today 
that I haven't had time to really read about it, but we definitely signed up for it. And for every bottle we sell, we're gonna plant more trees as well. So come in, help us um, plant more trees, uh, buy this gin um, in a drink. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make this drink today. I'm gonna start with one and a half ounces of gin. And I don't have um, their raw honey, but I do have this clover honey from um, Catskill Sh uh, Mountain Sugar House, which is local to us. So I'm going to add a little bit of honey um, into the cocktail and I'm gonna mix it up. You know, honey and agave are really hard to dissolve when um, drinks are cold. So I like to dissolve them when um, when the drink, it, when the, you just put in the liquor, when it comes right off the shelf. Ooh, I'm dripping vodka, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna waste any vodka, uh, gin here. Um, and I'm gonna add a splash of Amaro, so 0.75 of Amaro. I have not had this drink yet, so this will be a new one for me. Um, again, I love bringing you these cocktails. I love sharing them with you. Um, I really like gin. Uh, we were talking about this last night at our wine dinner, and people are like, we don't like gin, but a gin is so unique and different. It's got so many flavors in it. I really, really enjoy gin. Um, I don't drink it that much. I like a good gin and tonic, um, but gins are all different. So, you know, if you get a chance to taste some gins or go to a gin tasting, I highly recommend it. So, all right, so the gin, I have gin, I have honey, and I have bar, um, amaro. Put a splash of lemon juice in there and a splash of fresh grapefruit juice, which I just, um, which I just juiced. Let's see. And I'm gonna add a drop of bitters in there. So just uh, plain aromatic bitters. So a couple of drops of that. And I'm gonna shake this up with some ice, which of course I don't have ice again because we're not open tonight. So let me grab some ice. Oop, I'm coming everybody. Grab some ice. I forgot to put ice in my ice bin because we're not open, so I forgot. So I'm gonna add some ice to here, to my glass. And I'm going to pour this cocktail on ice and I'm going to uh, stir that up there, get that nice and cold. So thanks everybody for watching me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so grateful for all of the people. You know, I get to see so many of the same faces time and time again and I, I really, really appreciate it. So lots of people who were at our wine dinner last night are here, so that's really cool too. So I'm gonna shake that on up again. Get it nice and cold. So hello, Karen. Hello, Susan. Hello, Matthew. Um, appreciate you watching. And um, again, if you're just joining me, um, I am making something called Kettlebell with Bar Hill Gin from Vermont. Um, it has a uh, maro, local honey, lemon juice, and fresh grapefruit juice. So let's go ahead and taste it. Ooh. Wow, that Amaro. So this is Nardini Amaro. That is from Northern Italy. Um, let's see, I can never remember the name of the town that it's in, um, and I should know. Uh, but, um, but Amaro is a balance of mint, butter orange. Um, it has more of like a licorice taste. It's good on ice, it's good in a cocktail. Uh, Bassano, I think this is from Bassano. Uh, yep, Bassano del Grappa. Uh, from Italy. So Bassano, so Northern Italy. Hello, Jordan, Arndt. Thanks everybody for watching me. This is actually really good. So the Amaro and the gin kind of combine together and make this awesome, awesome flavor. Add a little lemon juice. It kind of tones it down a little bit. A little honey, a little local honey. And there you have it, uh, Kettlebell. Just a reminder, we are closed tonight and Wednesday. I will try to do a cocktail time tomorrow. Um, we might not be here. We're going to an event tomorrow afternoon, um, a Chamber of Commerce event. Uh, so I might not be here. I'm gonna head to uh, my girlfriend's daughter's soccer game uh, shortly and um, go watch that. Busy days, you know, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, even though we're not open, we, Marcus and I are so busy running around doing stuff, just getting ready and giving you all the awesome things that we always bring to you. I mean, we tasted wine today. Um, I've been at my desk all day doing, uh, doing some, um, some uh, what do you call it, marketing stuff. I've been doing the books and the papers and, and all that kind of stuff. So even though we're not here um, and we're not open tonight, we are so busy just 
getting ready to be open on Thursday. So Thursday night we have jazz. Uh, our $9.99 special this week is are our burgers. So it's to go, $9.99 burgers, all of them including the chickpea burger to go is $9.99 this week all the way through Sunday. We are open this weekend, Saturday and Sunday at three o'clock. Maybe we'll have our fire pit going if it's cooler. And that's it. I hope everybody has an awesome, amazing, amazing day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching me. I appreciate it. Um, hello, Rhonda. And uh, hopefully we'll see everybody soon here in Roman time. Cheers.